number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Ten fresh restaurant market ideas for 2016. The farm to table and local fresh wave is here to stay. By not offering your customers locally sourced food products, you're missing out on a two-sided advantage on which other restaurants that do offer local are capitalizing on. <laughs> yes. From a food perspective, providing locally and sourced ingredients means you're offering customers fresh, high quality ingredients that gener generally command higher prices and better margins. From a marketability perspective, offering farm to table ingredients means the perception of your food quality is much higher than it, it otherwise would be. Additionally, you create the perception that you're building goodwill within the local community by supporting small local farm farmers, restaurants that offer farm to table options and the source um, many menu items locally inside Farmhouse in Chicago and Redbird in Montana. So farm to table is a huge, huge trend. It's, it's what to do. It's the right way to do business. Here's my word of caution on farm to table. <clears throat> a lot of places say they're farm to table, they buy five things in season. Right. And the rest of the year, they're not buying anything local. They're not buying anything that's ethical, sustainable, or moral whatsoever at all, but yet they hang on their front of their restaurant, farm to table cuisine, this and that. Right. Farm to table goes way beyond produce. There's, of course, meats. There's some, a lot of times there's aquaculture in your area. Like we have a shrimp farm 30 minutes from this here that we just found out about. So that's something that for us is farm, a farm to table item that we can buy all year long. But cheeses and grains are a huge thing. And if you're like Colorado, beans, dried beans, certain parts of the country have different things. So grains, beans, even rices. You know, certain states are known for rice, Louisiana, Minnesota, California. There's a bunch of things that you can actually work directly with the producer to have a year-round supply of farm-to-table items. So that's my word of caution. If you're going to say you're farm-to-table, you got to think way beyond the box of produce and use the other ingredients that are year-round. We have a great polenta that we use. It's 30 minutes from here. An organic, GMO-free, micro-milled polenta. It's milled the day we call the guy. And that's something we've been using for years, year-round. So that's farm-to-table without having to worry about sunlight and warm winter temperatures, right. warm summer temperatures. Right. You know, so get out of the mind of when the farmer market, farmer's market closes, so does the so do the products. There's products everywhere year-round. So you have to be an, an investigator at that point and see what's going on. But now with Facebook, I mean, people tag things in, 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 you know, here and there, and you see other people's fan pages. It's so easy to find a lot of these. Go to other, go to other restaurants that you respect, that restaurants, chefs are doing the right thing, and yes. see who they're using, right? Absolutely. Because they're, they're going to list on their menu stuff and say, oh, wow, I didn't know that chicken Even farm. Even existed. I didn't know that chicken farm was in my backyard. I didn't know that person was doing grass-fed beef, you know, 20 miles from yep. here. And then there you go. It's right there. And you don't need to go to the restaurant to do it. You go right online. Yep. 20 years ago when we were doing it in Colorado, I had to go to other restaurants and say, hey, who are you using? Right. Now it's just all going online and doing it.